Astria Ascending is a JRPG, like a traditional JRPG style combat, uh, 2D fantasy. It is beautiful. It is a beautiful game. The music is, is fantastic. So much of this game is good. It's good, good, good. But it still is not good. <laughs> but it's bad. So let me get into my game. Uh, I notice I am an hour and 54 minutes in. I have, yes, about two hours in the, in the game total. Uh, this has been the longest two hours. The longest two hours that I've ever put into a, uh, a single game. Now, like I said, beautiful, right? The first thing you notice is the movement feels a little jank. Like it just, it feels like, and, and this may just maybe mean, but it feels like one of those like old Xbox Live indie games. Uh, like the, some of the platformers they would have. It just feels weird. It doesn't, there's something about the way that you move from platform to platform. It just does not feel right. Now, the good news is, this isn't the combat. This is just your navigation through the world, the overworld or whatever. Um, combat itself has its own issues as well. And so what you have is this like beautiful game that has all this, uh, there's such, such range in the visual audio like uh, experience uh, oh. that just fails on the mechanics part. Now, oh. I'm gonna buy some stuff uh, because I just got my ass kicked by a, uh, a boss. So I'm gonna go through and buy some stuff, and then we're gonna go into this boss fight. He's gonna kick my ass again, uh, and then, um, and then we'll, we'll, we'll see where we go from there. All right, we're gonna go ahead and equip all this stuff that we picked up. Equipment. Uh, I know that we have. Actually, we're gonna rearrange our group. Uh, let me see. So equipment, and we're gonna go use all of our characters here. Um, again, all beautifully hand drawn. So I believe you have a helmet, crown. Put that on. You have no accessories. It's fine. Uh, and then we're gonna equip all these guys. This guy gets a helmet. A magic craft for him. Yeah. And then a shield. No, no shield. And then, oh, so I got you, Cadence. Yeah, I'm basically gonna redo my group because I was trying to experiment a little bit with uh, another configuration, and because uh, you have like eight or something or six to choose, choose from. How many do you have? Like quite a person. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Um, you see, this guy this is one of the guys that uh, I ended up not liking. It was like a thief character. Let me see. She's good. Small cap for you. There you go. I believe that's uh, everything for you. Cool. Alec has one too. Oh, nope, I ran short. That's fine. Um, so yeah, this next fight coming up is pretty rough. It's pretty rough. So I wanted to go and grab some stuff, but I, I, don't, I didn't really pick up a whole lot of stuff. So I'm not really gonna, this is not really gonna make much of a difference, unfortunately. Um, let me see. Party configuration that we can go through. I love this selection here. I love being able to go through and just select things uh, like a Street Fighter style or something. Um, so let me see. Cut you, cut you. Oops. Uh, I guess we'll activate then. How's that work? Let me see. Oh, it's a switch character. Okay, so you, and you, and then you, and then you. I would like to get rid of you and get you back. Alright, cool. So that, this feels a little bit more, mm, balanced, but I do like her. But I would have to switch for somebody here. These two, let me get rid of you, and I'll swap for you. There we go. Let's get a little bit more deeps on this. Cool. Yeah, this whole thing, the whole UI, everything is just amazing. Just amazing, right? There's just so much here. So much. Um, and then, like I said, you get in. Oh, my God, God the, boob, the boob physics are ridiculous. Uh, and then you get in, you start moving around, you start to see the flaws in the game. Right, so here we go. We're gonna make our way down to uh, where this boss is located, and I believe we could actually uh, go there straight from here. Let me see. Back out. Oh, ports. Nope. Let me see world map. We're gonna go to the swamps. 
perfect. Yeah, the fast, uh, on my mouse is there, the fast uh, travel feature is quite nice. Okay, here we go. This is a great example. So this right here is an encounter, right? It's, it's a random encounter, basically, uh, except for you can see it. Now I can freeze it using that ability that I picked up recently. I can freeze it and keep it in place, and then I can, if I want, I can go just jump over it and I can go about my business. If it catches me before I tag it, then they will have a preemptive strike. If I tag it first, then I have a chance to have a preemptive strike. So let me go ahead and hit it. Uh-oh, did I hit it? <laughs> so, I guess I did not hit it. <laughs> the hitbox is just ridiculous. Just ridiculous. All right. So here's your your, your general like JRPG layout here, uh, and at the bottom you go through and you select using these runes what you want your character to do. Right? A an amazing visual setup. Absolutely stunning. Uh, you go through click on abilities. It pops up this like little scroll here. It just looks amazing. So uh, I have an option here to focus. And what you, when you focus, you basically commit your character's turn to contributing uh, points or contributing bonus power uh, to the next character in line. And it stacks like four times, 200% basically, 50% each. Um, so what I'll do with, uh, uh, who are we on right now? Okay, her, uh, is I'll have her go in for a, let me see, slow slash, yeah, on this guy here. And we'll see if it's resist what or if it's mi oh it's a miss straight up miss okay so wow miss that sucks <laughs> that's a waste of a turn uh, let's go ahead and actually have him focus this ends now. and let me see and then you'll see here uh, she has a let me see a fire blade nyx blade a talon blade blade uh, basically it's fire electricity and then earth I believe um, yeah bottom left earth. So what I'll do is I'll take this and I'll apply it and I'll go right bumper, right bumper, oh, just 50%. And I get this bonus point because Echo, the previous character, um, committed their turn to uh, giving uh, giving them the bonus point. So I'll go and do that. This should hit harder. 325, it's weak, so good. They were weak to that, meaning that it just did more damage. So uh, good, so Earth, I just gotta keep that in mind for those other characters. I don't have a scout uh, ability or anything just yet. I'm going to go and grab this guy's attention here. Let's see the ton. Is he going to resist? Cool. Now, here's like a big flaw in this. Uh, these characters may as well be so in sorry. a straight line. Because there is no positioning values. Right? So I, even though I have my quote-unquote tank in the front, it doesn't matter. She doesn't protect anything in the back. Um, and that is a huge failure, in my opinion. A huge failure. Uh, and the same thing applies for the enemies. Uh, so let me see if I can survive this uh, encounter. <laughs> On the way to the actual fight. Let me see. Uh, and you could just go and hack. 160. We'll cut through this. this there you go. Pull on blade this guy. He's weak to that, so that'll take care of him for sure. Mmm! Oh man, what? What happened there? These guys are wrecking me. Oh my god. I've got new hats. Everyone has got new hats. Holy crap. It's not even a boss fight. This is something that I read is that the game has like really weird balance the further you get into the game. I'm at, it's like I think midway or actually I'm towards the end of chapter two. Um, which didn't take too much time. Like I said, I'm only a couple hours in, so it moves pretty quickly. Okay, she's not gonna die too, right? I mean, I should probably go ahead and play a little defensively here. Um, I'm just going to do. I don't want to waste this thing. So life fragment revives target with 20% max HP. Let's try that for you. And then I believe it has a heal. Let me, help. Let me see ability. Uh, yeah, cure Aereo. I don't just single target. Aereo. So, uh, small amount of HP to single target. And then we'll do. Hmm. I mean, either one of them could get taken out next, but let's go ahead and see. Give it a little bit more here. See, like all of this stuff is fine, but like when you when you realize that there's just no, it's it's just like a straight line. It just kind of kills it for me. 
And it could, just, it could be me. It could be because I've played, you know, I've been playing so many turn-based strategy games where, like, your positioning really does matter. Um, maybe I'm the one that needs to uh, chill. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, it just it just it just feels kind of ruined uh, in that aspect. Put my tank in the front for what? For what? Okay, okay you're gonna go ahead and um, let's see. We we don't know what they're weak to. Focus. Leave it to me. And then you can let me see let's see small target go into the single target, and hopefully she can she can reap the benefits here. So plus 100 percent damage to this guy. Hopefully he's weak to that. Okay, no, just just regular damage. That's fine. Yes. Damn, that was a huge hit. I love how the camera moves. Do you see how the camera repositions? That's brilliant. My turn. Yep. Okay, this guy we should be able to just hack down now. Everybody's in good shape, right? Everybody's in terrible shape. We want to save our mana just in case we get to another encounter. This is what happens. You get into a random encounter. Give them preemptive strike. Like that. Great work. Yeah. My tank's got some hips. Where am I going? This way. Hold up. No, no, this way. Here we go. Just to give you an idea. Like, the the, the jumping and the leaping around just does not feel good. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh, you. Oh, hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Um, let me see. Swans, Pisces Temple. Statue of... There we go. My bad. My bad. Wrong place. Wrong place. Hey, I just wanted to show you guys all the different biomes. You know, like, there's the swamps... And then there's this place, and then there's the other place. See, there's so many, there's so many different like themes. <laughs> All right, here we go. Hopefully, we get the cutscene because that was pretty rad. This is where the game shines. Did this statue just move? Is that even possible? Dun, 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 What's dun. going on? Are we the evil? <laughs> <laughs> it's battle time. So like Ready? when she said that line the first time I came through here, I was just like, okay, this dialogue sucks. Like it's great that there's so much spoken voiceover. It's great. But some of the dialogue, it's like, what? What are you talking about? It just... It, uh, some of the execution is just so bad in the writing. It feels very ham-fisted. Uh, Alright, let me see. So we have uh, Echo here. Eco. What can you do? Don't focus. Let me see. Abilities. Uh, cure an area. This is small at light damage to a single target. Uh, I know this thing is weak to electric. So that's... We'll see. I don't even know if that's gonna do anything. I don't know if that's gonna do anything actually. Uh, do we have people? Everyone's at full health. Oh, that's good. So let's go ahead. Actually, he will focus. He will focus, and then let me see. I'll do the same here, and then hopefully we could give the rear character there the centaur-like thing. Um, hopefully we could give uh, her a really good. Nick's hit. Nick's attack. So here you go. Nick's blade on you, and then with the power 200%. 809 and 893 on top of it. Omni water. 142. Half my health. Most of my characters. Let me see. Um, I guess you should do fucking heal. Do we have an item that does heal all? Wait, see, heals 3% of party, max HP. Oh, sweet. I have three of those. Yeah, let's do it. I should have bought some more of those at the shop. Okay, that's good. That's good. Nobody's going to get one shot. Except for her. The bird's going to get one shot for sure. Um, so maybe we can slow. So I'm just going to slow for three turns. Let's see if we can do this. Miss. Awesome. So damage went through at least. Okay, again, we'll, we don't have any focus points or anything, so we'll, we'll keep going until... Oh, actually, wait, hold on a second. How much mana does she have? She has uh, 36 mana. Okay, so we could do this three more times. We could also pause for a round in order to build up focus points for everybody. 
and then Havoc. And then when it comes back around, uh, she'll have a more powerful hit. Because we'll see how big... How, actually, we'll go and use one now, and so we can see how much uh, damage it does. The other one was uh, about 1,900 damage total. Yo, yeah, wow! Just massive, da massive damage difference. <laughs> From 1,900 down to... What was that, 600? Less than 600? Yeah. Okay, so we need, we need to do a commit. A commit round to uh, uh, focus points. Let's do it. This thing hurts. Yeah, it hurts. Oh, great. Oh, they're all confused. Oh, that yeah, that wheel casts uh, confuse on them. Great. Um, are they still? Yeah, they are. Okay, so she's. So we have at least one point, right? Let me see. Oh, we have a full group. Okay, cool. So she could do. She doesn't need to do that. She could make an. She could do whatever. Uh, maybe just regular attack or um, secure. He's like the illegal target. The user. <clears throat> That's secure. Get some heals out. Maybe heal myself first. Yeah. Be greedy. Okay. This is gonna be a huge hit. Another... Yeah, God, he has so much health. That's good. It's like 1600. Oh, of course! Of course. But she was in the back row! I got my, I got my, I got my tank right in front of her. I know you see her. <laughs> okay. I guess we'll go back to cure again. No, no, item. Uh, we don't need that. Okay. Item. Let's see, we have to raise her from the freaking dead. I just guess. Maybe we're starting to get through. Oh, it's the party, okay. And then we're gonna do another Omni Potion. Oh my god, not again. <sighs> okay, now we're gonna. Okay, yeah, yeah. Somehow you survive this. Let's see. So your guys party 30%? Yeah, that's all we got, right? Yep. Let's see what he does next. Leave it to me. Hey. We have a moment here we could do some healing, do some focusing, do whatever. Let me see how many we have. Okay, we don't know no focus. There's no way we're gonna we're gonna take that guy out. You could switch, by the way, mid fight, but um I don't wanna waste a turn on that. But you know what though? I mean, if I could get them in here and they have full health, I think I'm just gonna do it. Why not? I mean, that's probably the fucking point of the game. Okay, so yeah, you, and then uh, do it. Pick we'll get. Uh, you, oh, I see you, and then we'll put you here. Oh, is that not how that works? Okay, let's try that again. There we go. And then uh, I want her to get one more hit off. We'll have her, her cure herself. So let's see, here's what you're gonna do. Switch character. Is that gonna actually take effect? It did not save. Okay. Mm, and then confirm. There. Perfect. It uses your turn though. Uh, I, I believe in Final Fantasy like seven, eight, nine, something like that. Some, one of the Final Fantasy games, whenever you swap out uh, characters, uh, you can think an attack right away. So in this one, you can't. Now for you, she's gonna heal herself. I want, actually, I do want to beat this boss. Um, I didn't. I came here with a defeatist attitude because I expected to get my ass kicked. But now that I see that I'm, I'm actually doing pretty well. <laughs> I mean, I got mocked the last time. It was embarrassing. Hundred percent. What is that gonna be like? A thousand damage? Yep, eleven hundred damage. Cool. God damn, that's just sweeping damage right there. You are going to uh, heal mm. you, her, <clears throat> keep her alive, and then he has a poison hit. So I know this boss is susceptible to poison. We have 100% bonus on that, so you can apply that. 821, and is he poisoned? I guess not. I guess not. I can't tell. Um. She's regular attack, probably fine. 244 at 458. Okay, okay, here comes Confuse. 
Now, uh, my main character has an anti-confused ring, uh, but it's not gonna protect her from getting assassinated by her own player, her own fucking player. Ah, uh, teammate, man. That's such a bummer. That's such a bummer. I really wanna be that boss. I really do. All right, it's fine, I'll come back later and do it. Now, what I'm gonna show you next, and I shall talk over it here, so. I want to show you this because it is, um, it just shows how beautiful this game is. Uh, I read that the developers were from, um, uh, were from Final Fantasy projects, uh, and the whole thing was, was animated. I mean, look at this. It's just outstanding. Uh, there's voiceover all over the place. There's, there's a bunch of these little cinematics that you see all over. Um, they just did a really good job. When I watched this, I was like, oh my God, I feel like I'm watching a Saturday morning cartoon. And I was just hooked. And that's probably one of the reasons why I keep coming back. There's something about it that, that gives me this, like, uh, yeah, this is like Saturday morning, 1987 or something, or I don't know, a 90 or 90 maybe? I have no idea. Uh, and this is the kind of, what your shows look like. <laughs> um, and so I was hooked and, and I keep coming back to it. Oh, you know, two and a half hours of gameplay now and I've opened the game probably like 10 times because I get in. Oh yeah, this is my favorite part actually. Fucking look at that. Look at that. Ridiculous. And then your character comes on and you're like, wow, man. Everyone here's got some thick ass thighs. <laughs> Everyone's got some thick ass thighs. Look at you can see her nipples through her damn like titty curtains. It's crazy. <laughs> oh man. But even with that, I was like, you know, I'm still on board. I'm still on board. You know, the characters are demigods. So there's no, uh, like you basically, you start off all powerful and you can further make your character power through the talent tree, which I haven't even shown you guys yet. Uh, here's what we'll do. I shall go and bust into there. Just give you guys a bit more. Skip. Yep. You're a demigod. All right. I know. Yep. That's me. And then if we go over here to Ascension Tree, now check this out. Um, these things are great. Like this is this, your characters each have their own constellation. Uh, you earn points through gameplay and then you could spend them here. Uh, I, when I see stuff like this, I'm like, hell yes. Hell yes. Like uh, Never Return, we covered that like a couple months ago. Like it has a huge tree like this. Um, and I, in, on my other playthrough, you know, I'm a couple hours in, I have, I have a couple things unlocked on each character and it's going well, you know, it's going well. Um, I, all that stuff there, there's so, and there's all these jobs, like base job, main job, sub job, support job. Like, I'm like, wow, there's a lot of stuff in this game. There's a lot of stuff in this game. It's just a shame that such as some of the core aspects of it just were not fleshed out as well as they should have been. Uh, that's really, that's really where it comes, what it comes down to. Like, this is a game that I would play if I was bored on the couch, right? But only if there was like nothing else to play. Like, it's, it's a good mindless kind of go through, especially because the story, like if you're not really engaged with the story, which I'm not, um, you just kind of go through, go through the motions and, and progress your character and, and, you know, like futz with numbers and all that stuff and buy items and sell. Like, it's a good, just kind of chill out and relax game. Uh, I don't know if it's something you want to play on a handheld at night because everything in the game was freaking white and so super bright, but, <laughs> but, <laughs> uh, the options there. So. Yeah, like, you know, again, it's a game that I want to love. I want to love because there's so on check so many boxes, but execution is just lacking in so many areas. Uh, and that is just an absolute shame. So the game is available for $34.99 on Steam. And I want to say that part of the reasons why I sat down and actually recorded this in the first place is because I've been hopping in and out of it so many times that somebody might actually think that I would recommend it. And I can't tell you that I do. So it's a, that's a $34.99 is an investment. So just, just be aware. Uh, of that. So thank you so much for watching Astria Ascending. Check it out. My name is Mike B. Have a good one. Bye.